The forum is an extremely useful tool inside Moodle and probably one of the main ways that you're going to communicate with your students in an asynchronous course. So first of all, let's go to activity and click forum. And that will bring us to the create a forum screen. Now here under forum name, I'm just going to create one called discussion of chapter one. Now under forum type, you have four different forum types that you can use. I'm going to click this button so you can see the description of all four. Now, the, simple, the single simple discussion is just a single topic all on one page. So if you have one topic that you want the students to discuss and you don't want the topic branching off, then this is the one you want to use. A standard form for general use, this is basically anybody can create a topic on anything that they want. Um, each person posts one discussion, so very similar to standard form, except each person can only start one topic. Uh, after each person started a topic, the only thing you can do is reply to other topics. And then the Q&A forum. I find the Q&A forum pretty neat, actually, um, because what it does is it allows you as the instructor to post a question, and then the students have to post their responses. What's neat about this is that the student cannot view other students' responses to their questions until they have posted their own response. So I, f I find that one kind of neat because it eliminates kind of the group think where somebody just goes through and reads everybody's posts and then just kind of rehashes it. So I'm going to select that one, Q&A forum, and I'm going to type uh, my question in here. If I can type. I'm just going to keep it very simple. Okay, force everyone to be subscribed, yes or no. If you set this to yes, then people will receive email responses when somebody replies to the forum. Uh, read tracking for this forum, on, off, or optional, so you can see when someone has read a post and when, and when they have not read posts. Maximum attachment size, we've gone over that before. Aggregate type, this is for grading. There are a bunch of different ways to grade a forum. So you can do the average of ratings, the count of ratings, maximum, minimum of ratings, or the sum of ratings. The average of ratings, basically you as a teacher will be able to grade every single post in the forum. If you do average of ratings, then it takes the average of all the grades that you give to a student for all their posts, take the average of that, and that's their overall forum grade. Count of ratings, say your forum's worth 10 points then basically the student has to post 10 times and you have to grade 10 uh, posts for the student to receive 10 points. So all it's doing is counting the number of times a student posts. Or actually what, it do, what it's doing is counting the number of times you grade someone's posts. Maximum, obviously the maximum number you give somebody, that's what they get. Minimum, same thing. So if you're looking for an easy way to just give one overall grade to the forum, use maximum rating, and then you just have to grade one post, and that becomes the grade for the overall forum for that student. And then sum of ratings. So you know, the, the, the ratings for each post are added together and that's the student's grade. So I'm just going to put in maximum because it's the easiest one to use. Um, 10 points. You can also restrict ratings to these specific dates. So if the student posts outside of these dates, then they basically don't get any points for it. Uh, post threshold for blocking. So if you want to make sure that students don't post too much in the forum, you can set this post threshold for blocking. So the time period could be a day, two days, a week. So what you can do is you can say in, a, in any given one day, I'm going to block you from posting if you post more than 10. And I'm going to give you a warning after you've posted seven. So after the, after the student's seventh post, they get a warning. After they post their 10th time in one day, they can't post anymore. So I'll click save and return to course. Scroll down to my forum, discussion of chapter one. Now I'm going to add a new question for the students. Even though this is posted right here, I'm still going to add a new question. Now here, what this will do 
is it allows students to respond to this discussion. And this is, since this is a Q&A forum, this is what makes it possible for students not to be able to see other students' responses. Uh, so they have to click into chapter one, and before they can see anybody else's posts, they have to post their own reply to this. Once they posted their own reply, then they can see what everybody else has posted. And as the instructor, you can edit, delete, reply, and the students can only reply. That's the only function that they have. So that's how you create and utilize forums in Moodle.